Hello world, welcome to my channel. My name is Havu Tutal and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about star energy and star work um, and how I use it for myself. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. <laughs> I can't promise that, but I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. So let's just get into it. So how did I get into using star energy in my spiritual practice? Well, it literally came out of necessity. Um, a few years ago, I was dealing with a very, very deep, uh, crippling depression, a type of depression that um, makes you not want to get out of bed. And a lot of times I didn't get out of bed and um, just lived in this very dark, desperate space. It was one of those things where um, the thought of seeing <laughs> any kind of, it was like, you want to sleep the pain away kind of thing, you know. You want to sleep until some sort of death kind of happens. You don't want to die, you know. You don't want to really leave the earth. You know you have something to do, but right now it just ain't the time. <laughs> and you just kind of want to slowly fall into this almost hibernative state where you just don't wake up for a while and when you do hopefully everything will be changed <laughs> something some sort of death would happen and I really had to do something because nothing was working I had you know gone to a counselor and it just felt extremely impersonal I felt like a number <laughs> among people oh I'm just so interested in your problems for this next hour okay the hours up where's my money you know I just I just I didn't feel a connection with it I felt it felt very impersonal and very just like a money maker type job and I just didn't like that so I um, have always been obsessed with stars I love love astronomy I love 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 astronomy have always loved it ever since I was a kid I've known you know watch every documentary I can possibly find on astronomy and know everything that I could possibly there is to know about it <laughs> and you know just completely obsessed over it now astrology I'm not really into that's really not my thing and I have some reasons why and I will explain more about that in a different video but um, today we're gonna be talking about this so I love astron astronomy and um, it was just one of the things that draw me to it. Um, for a while, my personal spiritual space was my bathroom. That's where I would talk to God. You know, the, the best conversations on the toilet. <laughs> but I would talk to God in my bathroom, in my shower. And one day, God sat me down in the shower. I was like, you know what, just, just turn off the lights. Um, go cut on the water and just let the water rush over you and just sit in the darkness for a while. And me personally, I love the darkness. I've always, I've always loved Not evil or anything crazy like that. Not negative, but dark. There are two different, um, there's two different versions. Uh, people always associate black or dark with evil, and that's just not the case. Dark is just the absence of light. That's pretty much what it is, but it's not the absence of positivity. It's just the absence of physical light. But I feel like in the darkness, just like a seed when you plant it in the ground, is the, best, is the best place for it to grow. And I go to darkness, even to this day, to grow and to heal. So in this particular moment, um, God had sat with me in the shower, um, told me to just sit down in the shower, cut off all the lights, and just just relax and um, that's how I developed this technique uh, was through God's instruction and also through my higher self instruction and it has become beautiful and I'm gonna teach it to you today so keep watching okay so first we're gonna talk about finding your private space for me my private space is literally a void in space <laughs> the place that I go to find my best peace is a void in space um, I'm pretty sure everyone know what a void is it's just the absence of stars and galaxies so in this void I be completely it'd be completely empty but surrounded by stars and galaxies and things of that nature and then it'd be God sitting in front of me I always imagine God enveloped in the stars in the background almost like a cloak a cloak draped around the spirit engulfed in stars and galaxies and these beautiful celestial bodies that's the way I envision God in the face I can never see it's just it's nothing so it's always just me and God sitting in the space nothing else no one else 
just me and God. So I want you to try and find a space that you find God or that you find peace. Um, for this example, you can try doing it in space if that's something that you're into. If not, you can do it on the beach, in a park. Um, wherever you want to imagine your amazing spaces. Another thing is doing this outside is amazing. It just like, for me, it just amplifies the energy tenfold. You can do it in the daytime or in the nighttime, but obviously in the nighttime, it's so much more powerful because you have the stars literally in front of you. But you don't have to do in the stars if you don't have a place to go to outside or you just don't like <laughs> being outside in the dark. I totally understand. But for those who do, I suggest you try doing it outside outside it is so amazing so powerful and I've gotten so many amazing revolutionary things come to me in my backyard in the dark <laughs> so once you've found your comfortable space um, we're gonna talk about breath okay so I have two methods of breath um, one where you pull in the air to your body extremely slowly and you exhale it through your body extremely slowly. You can do this through your nose. Um, for me, I just do it through my nose because I've been doing it for so long, it's really easy. Or that you can do it through, um, like pretend you have a straw in your mouth and you're pulling air through your mouth like And then exhale. And just get rid of all of the air in your body as much air as you can muster out this method is to try and get your mind and your body to calm down so like I said you're gonna start with you know breathing and meditation um, I totally understand if you you know have issues with meditating with your mind going crazy this method is to help you to calm the mind and even if your mind is going crazy that's totally fine it's going to do that just try and get rid of as much um, mind noise as possible i promise you as time go on and you do this more and more you will feel a difference in how your mind um you said what they call the monkey brain and also you have to learn your stimulants so if you know if you if coffee gives you anxiety or watching too much tv brings you to makes you too stimulated or too you know too much housewives <laughs> make you too stimulated then try and cut that off at least an hour before you do this practice to help better the result because if you're you know doing a million things at once and all of a sudden you want to stop and meditate obviously the world is going to keep on spinning in your mind um, that will distract you and like I said if you can't life is life you know but you just want to try and do it as much as possible anyway so you're going to start with your breathing first you want to take deep breaths in just regular deep breaths in like a and just Try to get that energy, get that air flowing into your body, and then you're going to go into your straw breathing method where you either do it through your lips as if you're sucking through a straw, or you do it through your nose in a regular way. As make Again, make sure you empty out as much air as you possibly can and do it as slowly as possible. It will help your mind to be calm. It will help your body to calm down. It's just an amazing method. The next method, I can't, I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's called dragon breath or tiger breath or something like that, where you make a noise when you breathe, where it's like a. You want to do that and try to do it as slowly as possible. You don't have to do it as slowly as a straw method, but you definitely want to try and slow it down as much as possible. Take three good breaths or more of this, of these two methods, and, um, I'll move on to the next step. You want to put an intention on why you're here. That is a big key thing. So for me, in dealing with depression, I would pick out specific things that were troubling me that day. You don't want to do something too drastic like, um, I just want to focus on getting rid of all depression because depression comes for a reason. Um, most of the time, it's, you know, they say it's an imbalance in the brain, but honestly, I think most of the time depression is a suppress is you suppressing something that you don't want to deal with or you don't know how to deal with or um, you feel that you can't deal with. It's just a suppressing of the mind and body um, of you not stepping into 
uh, what it is that you're supposed to do or just don't know how to deal with the way life is going. But like I said, you want to start off with something very small and specific um, to try to get the best results of removing that. So for me, um, I, for example, I just want to remove the negativity. I want to remove the negative thoughts. I want to remove this dark cloud that's hanging over me today. Help me to, you know, you're talking to God and you're talking to the star energy as well because both go hand in hand. Star energy, God, is pretty much the same thing. Because God is the universe in my belief. So God is everything. You're talking to God no matter what. But you want to set a specific intention for this star energy you're about to intake into your body. Um, so whatever that thing is, like for example, or like I said, for me, it's I want to get rid of the negative thoughts today. Help me, help me, please help me to get rid of the negative thoughts. And you're going to focus on those things while you're doing it. So, or if it's something like a, I don't know, something like an ache in your body, <laughs> you can focus on that too. Star energy healing is for everything and it gets so much easier and better with time. You just begin to notice a difference, which is why I continue to do it for myself. So I'm going to close my eyes after I've done all my breathing and or if you're outside at night, you can you don't have to close your eyes. You can focus on a star, a specific star. That's why I say being outside is so powerful because you can literally focus on the celestial bodies in front of you. But you want to just start out with one star. Focus on one star. So imagine that there's one star directly in front of you and it's shooting down to your head like a beam, like a laser beam from the star to your forehead like a laser beam. And as you take breaths, you're going to pull in that energy to your body. You want to probably start off with the top of your head or if you're doing multiple stars, all these stars are shooting at all points in your body. That's amazing too. I'll get into that later. <laughs> but um, I want to start off with one star pulling through the uh, laser energy pulling through your head. And then you're just going to take real deep breath and exhale really slowly. And imagine as you're exhaling, you're going to imagine whatever it is that you're trying to get of leaving your body like a mist. And the only thing that is left is the star energy. So you want to imagine your body filling up with this beautiful light. And as you exhale, all of this negativity or whatever it is that you're trying to get to get rid of is exiting your body like a mist going out into the darkness, going out into wherever you are and just disappearing and dissipating into the universe or your space and just being rid of it. And like I said, you want to focus on your head. You want to focus on that energy just filling up your head. I imagine it filling up my head like a swirl, slowly pushing out all of the things that I'm trying to get rid of, slowly pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. And then I'll move down to the rest of my body, to my neck, to my chest, and eventually that chest and your heart, uh, heart chakra, will shoot throughout to your arms and eventually out to your legs. And just imagine your body completely engulfed and uh, enveloped in this beautiful, beautiful, amazing star energy light and that you're just glowing from the inside out and it's pushing out all of this negative energy, all of the things that you're trying to get are just pushing it out of your body like a mist. And you want to do that. You can do that for as long as you want to, <laughs> but you can do that for uh, a minute or so, however long you feel you need to. Um, you can do that in 10 breaths. You can count it in breaths, however much you want to. But for me, <laughs> I do it so much. I don't even want the, the experience to stop because it's so beautiful. So I do it however long that I feel like I need to. Imagine that amazing energy just pulling into your body and just exiting through that exhale. Again, empty out all of the, as much oxygen as you can, empty out as much breath as you can outside of your body. And um, then again, pull in that breath and it helps calm your mind, it helps calm everything. So along with the breath and the star energy is very healing, very calming. And um, like I said, you can start off with one star or you can do multiple. I uh, do multiple stars. I'm in this void in space with God and there's stars, stars completely surrounding us from head to toe all around like a big bubble. And I imagine all of those star energy, all of those stars pulling its energy towards me like laser beams just shooting into my body. And it is the most amazing experience. Excuse me. It is the most amazing experience I've ever had. Um, and that's why I feel like I wanted to share it. So after you're done, you can just let the stars just go back. The uh, lasers pull back out into the universe, into those stars. And then you're just going to take another three good, slow, deep breaths. And um, 
then you're just gonna come back to yourself wake yourself up and just try and relax just sit in that space usually by the end of this I'm in a high <laughs> I'm so freaking high <laughs> I'm so high by the end of this meditation and it is so so amazing and um, I really hope that it's helpful so this is gonna be part one um, obviously this is my whole practice <laughs> pretty much aside from water and fire I also use water and fire in my practice but um this is the main part of my practice is using star energy and also moon energy because I love the moon in the nighttime but um, like I said part one part two is coming soon thank you guys so much for watching this video I really really hope that it was helpful if you did please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and um, leave me comments um, if you're a person who works with star energy a star witch cosmic witch if you um, are familiar with this um, type of work um, please leave me a link below I would really love to hear what you have to say and thank you guys so much for all your love and support and I hope to see you in the next video all right bye I will see you in the next video <laughs> all right bye Mwah.